Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode... I don't remember what episode. 28. 28. <laughs> 28, uh, 28 of the Hogline Podcast. I'm your host for today, Jack Manis. Uh, Mitchell's not with us. I'm at Penn State with uh, the lovely Joey Bolton. We Say are. hello. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow, you're killing as a host right now. I'm better host than you. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we had a debate over who would host, and we're co-hosting. I, I, no, we're not. Yeah, we're, we're co-hosting. And with my credibility, <laughs> uh, I think I'm more Ooh, worthy. Come on. Yeah, come on. So yeah, this, this is, is why not, you're not. This yeah, is why you're not hosting. This is already yeah proof. Um, yeah. So uh, we're excited for this episode. It's gonna be a good one because without Mitchell holding us back, he holds us back so. Far. He does. Um, we're gonna be talking. At least I'm going to be talking about um, <laughs> Very true. <laughs> uh, NFL transaction notables that's been happening. Um, I'll get into Little Brown because uh, as Mitchell recorded yesterday, right when he was done is when uh, the news broke of Antonio Brown's new destination. So uh, I'll give my take on that. I, I, I feel like every episode includes an Antonio Brown segment. Um, and then we're going to give our NBA off-season thoughts of, like, free agents, signings, just a few I listed. And mm, this is going to be a good segment called How Much Does Joey Know? <laughs> it's like Charles Barkley on the NBA on TNC, like, <laughs> yeah. who, who does he play for? Uh, um, way worse. I'm just going to give him some questions that if you follow sports at least a little bit, oh. you should go 10 for 10. I gave these questions to Mitchell. And he went 10 for 10, uh, obviously. I would have gone 10 for 10. So uh, I'm sure you would have. We're going to prove why Joey's not co-hosting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get into it, I guess. Um, I was going to run through. I just listed a few notable, I thought was notable, of the uh, NFL offseason that's been happening. Uh, so I'm just going to, this really, this isn't notable. It's just the fact that it's on, from the Steelers. Steelers trade uh, offensive lineman Marcus Gilbert to the Cardinals for a sixth round pick. Uh, personally, I mean, the, he hasn't been healthy and he got suspended uh, recently. So, um, yeah, just due to that, I mean, sixth round pick isn't great, but like, I'm just happy we got something out of him. He's he hasn't been healthy the past few seasons, so I assume he's suspended for PEDs or something. Or what would I honestly forget. Yeah, I don't know. What's, all right, whatever, go for it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Um, <laughs> Steelers offensive line. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Um, next, I got Eagles trade Michael Bennett hey. and the 2027th for the Pats 2020. What? Oh, fifth. I didn't yeah. write that down. Yeah. Um, yeah. You give your thoughts on that. I mean, uh, it's obviously like not. What I want because well I mean I don't know about that because Bennett was our best pass rusher last year by far I yeah mean, you, he was he was good I hate Bennett so much but yeah well I mean, admit he was you know, good he can't say that word but he's a, yeah <laughs> he's not a nice guy and but, his um, stupid shoulder pads they're oh, no, no I love no. I love the kicker pads like it's, it's actually so stupid it's kind of like cheating in a way I feel like because it's hard to like yeah you know, grab him we're well, so not supposed stupid. to grab him but no but I mean I don't know like he was our best pass rusher before Fletcher Cox kind of went off at the end of the season yeah. to like force us into the playoffs. But, like, we got nothing for him. We cleared so much cap space. Right, yeah. Like, and we really needed That's that. That's honestly what it was. now we can kind of go after, right. like, bigger, like, free agents. Like, you know, Golf, Golf, Le'Veon Bell. Maybe. Oh, I, thought, I thought you said Golf. Like, no. what? what? No. Oh, yeah, Jared, we're going to get no Jared sense. Goff. He's not a free agent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I agree with that, I guess. Um, Some people are really mad about it. I hate Bennett, yeah. Um, oh, uh, Giants let Landon Collins walk, um, which just adds to the hot... Fr- uh, free agency market of safeties, which I would love the Steelers. <laughs> what are you giving me that look for? <laughs> Who is Landon Collins? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at what the trade was. Uh, no, it's not trade. trade. I'm sorry. Yeah, you let no, him, uh, uh, how much yeah. money it costed? Uh, well, yeah, it was either that or they'd tag him, I think. I don't know. But this is as the free agency market of safeties, which I really hope the Steelers invest in. But just a few off the top of my head, there's Tyron Matthews out there, uh, Landon Collins now. Um, who else we got? Oh, Earl Thomas, which I don't want the Steelers to get. He's just, yeah. I mean, with the narrative of, like, Bell and, like, all that with wanting money, Earl Thomas would not fit. I don't, and, uh, yeah. Clearly Steelers aren't willing to pay either. Yeah. Uh, ha, Clinton Dix is out there. Uh, LaMarcus Joyner of the Rams, I am a fan of because he's good in coverage, and that's the Steelers need a good coverage safety. Uh, and that's also... I mean, I would love Lana Collins. I love any of these guys except Earl Thomas, but um, 
He's not – Collins isn't great in coverage, which is a reason I'd be, like, uh, timid about the Steelers signing him. But I'll take anyone in our secondary. I'm not pleased with them right now at the moment. Another, so uh, one of the – a safety just got signed, cut by the Ravens, uh, Eric Weddle. Rams signed him to a two-year deal. Uh, he's 34, I think. He's 34 right now. So, I mean, this will be his last contract, I assume. I don't know. Maybe keep going. But he's good. Uh, yeah, that's that. Where do you think Landon Collins ends up? I I'm not sure who's in the need of a safety really right now. I mean, yeah, the I thought I got an alert today saying like the Patriots are in the mix, Redskins. I'm looking at it right now. It says Detroit Lions are like really like the favorite Lions. Right now to get them. That would add, I mean, their their defense is solid as it is. Their just offense is just so bad, stag. Yeah, it's just Stafford's not boring, right? <laughs> like, just, but like, you know. Yeah, uh, Mitchell's a Mitchell's a fan of Stafford. I'm not like he's just not a quarterback that's gonna win you games. Uh, he'll win you games. I'm not like he's he's not gonna like take you far. Like, no. yeah, I agree. With and that. like I don't know, it's just like I I feel bad for Lions fans that like. They're just kind of stuck in this middle ground of, like, I don't know. like Mediocrity. Yeah. I just feel like they're never going to get it. Especially their division's getting better now. Yeah. So, like, with the Bears and the, and the Vikings are still solid and the Packers with Rodgers. So, I mean, it's just tough for them. Yeah, that's that. Um, who else we got? Uh, the Jags cut Carlos Hyde and Malik Jackson. They're kind of uh, falling apart on defense. Malik Jackson, they let walk. I mean, at the end of the uh, – What's his name? They traded um, Dante Fowler to the Rams end of the year or before the trade deadline last year. So who knows what's going on in Jacksonville right now? Um, but the Hyde signs with the Chiefs for one year. I think it was three million. So a pretty cheap option. I don't know. Can you look up how old he is? Yeah. Um, Carlos Hyde, right? What'd you say? Yeah, Carlos Hyde. Um, yeah, the whole split definitely with hit, uh, it'll be Carlos Hyde and Damian Williams. Twenty eight. 28, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Probably prime. Yeah, so he could be a formidable running back in the right place. He, he's flourished in certain places in San Francisco and a little in, uh, what do you call it, Cleveland. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Damian Williams and Carlos Hyde as a tandem like duo, and that's, n- that's, that's not a bad backfield. And the, the Chiefs got a great system for uh, running back, so pretty much any running back can – can flourish in that system and behind that O-line and whatnot. I still expect him to, to, to draft a running back, at least in the later rounds. Uh, but, yeah, that's that for the Chiefs. Oh, they also cut uh, Justin Houston today. Uh, I got an alert for that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not much to say on that. Any comment? Of course not. <laughs> Who is Justin Houston? <laughs> He's a no, linebacker. I'm kidding. He, I'd Pro Bowl or, uh at least a few years. I know he was in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> I had a question for you. Where what? do you think Golden Tate's going to end up? Good question. Uh, did he tweet at the Steelers today? At the Steelers? I mean, maybe. I he think looks- he t- uh, he might have tweeted at the Steelers. It said, like, at Steelers and then, like, like a thinking emoji. I, he might have just been in reference to the Antonio Brown trade uh, that he thinks we got gypped. But, I mean, maybe, yeah, he's, said, looking yeah. to, maybe he's looking to go to yeah, Pittsburgh. Steelers, yeah. I would love it. I mean, I love Golden Tate. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Do you think... The Eagles are gonna go for him, no, like we're saying. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, like, I had, don't know. He kind of showed up in the playoffs, actually. Yeah, but towards the end of the season, he was starting to click. So I mean, he's on my dynasty team. So I want him to. I'm always rooting for him. I want him to do well. Mm-hmm. Um, if the Eagles resign him, I wouldn't be that mad because I feel like he was clicking with them like towards the end of the year. So maybe he'll. I don't know. Apparently, like the rumor right now is that Patriots are trying to get him really hard too. Oh well, man, they don't need another that, that, nah, no. yeah, I don't, slot receiver. No, apparently not. Um. <laughs> Jeez, the Patriots are just always <laughs> I hate them. sign everyone. I hate them so much. Um, yeah. Uh, what's next? Dolphins cut Danny Amendola after one season with them, mm-hmm. uh, and they also sign sign uh, former uh, Patriots tight end Dwayne Allen. Uh, yeah. I mean, he hasn't he didn't produce much in for the Patriots, but he could be a. Uh, he could do well in in Miami, possibly. I mean, they got Mike Gusecki, who I well, uh, I mean, love. Mike yeah, you know Mike Gusecki. I do. <laughs> at Penn State, so right. He's so good. Yeah, uh, he great. had a bad season. He's also my dynasty team. He's a rookie. Yeah. Who? Oh, I thought you. Never mind. I thought you were gonna say no, you I mean, looked up something. No. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that. <laughs> uh, oh, Case Keenum. Oh in my a seventh God. round. Yeah, I know. Case Keenum in a seventh rounder. 
traded to the Redskins in return for a sixth. Now, the reason, I mean, that's terrible value of Case Keenum. Terrible. Uh, but, I mean, it's just because of cap uh, reasons. Yeah. For, it's all about money. Do you remember how much his contract is? It was, it was two years. With the uh, Broncos? Yeah. It was I two, don't. Two, do you have it up? Yeah, I'm getting it right now. Um, yeah, it saves the Broncos $3 million against their caps, so that's why. And, I mean, they just trade for Flacco. I assume they're going to draft uh, Drew Locke out of Missouri, which he could be solid. I kind of like those quarterbacks that are not from the big name schools. Uh, I don't know, like obviously Big Ben from Miami, Ohio. Um, yeah, Drew Brees from Purdue. I mean that's Purdue's in the Big Ten and what, but I mean Carson Wentz obviously He's getting eighteen million a year. Case Keenum. Case Keenum, yeah. So I mean, I guess it. I guess it's a good move by John Elway and the Broncos. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I think the Broncos win that, honestly. Like, like I'm like, I don't, honestly, as like an NFC East, like, you know, fan. Um, yeah, you I, should be happy that Case Keenum. I'm is extremely in, happy. I don't the, the Reds, there's, there's not going to be a time in my life that I'm scared of the Redskins. I don't think. Right, yeah. They the re- the Redskins, find, they right. They can't find a quarterback. They're mac- like, they're, their ceiling is like 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, uh, it, they're not. That's not a good situation for them right now. Um... I think that's all I had, and we're just going to go in on A.B. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, he was So as I was writing the, these notes uh, is when the, the deal went down. I So my notes say, uh, I, was, I mean, I'm sure you've been following, to some extent, the Brown situation, but he was on the bills for a few hours on Friday night. Uh, he threatened to retire, <laughs> I think. Yeah, threatened so- to not show up. Um also keeps asking for like on his new team to get more money, which kind of delayed this whole process. He wants he wanted eighteen to twenty million and to be the highest paid receiver. He got that with the Raiders now. Uh, I was gonna read his quote. Um, am I gonna be able to record and still? I'm still good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so he um, when did he say this? <laughs> so. I'm going to try, try to get my timeline right. I This is either it's on... an insane timeline. Yeah, I know. I, 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 it's so messed up. Uh, Friday or Saturday, when he was on Instagram Live, he says, quote, Hey, I'm about to announce my new team in like a little bit, all right? Dot, dot, dot. Something positive is about to be happening real soon. Trust me. Stay by the phone. Dot, dot, dot. Big announcement coming soon. Big announcement coming soon. Mr. Big Checks checks this time see yeah, i didn't know what mr big one. checks mean. he's calling himself mr big chest and he switches to mr big checks because he's getting paid i don't know he's dumb he's crazy he is <laughs> um like i didn't think there's seriously something wrong with him yeah there is <laughs> um but anyway so he ultimately ended up on the raiders uh exchanged for their 2019 third and 2019 fifth the steelers now have they did not have a fifth round pick and they had their own third so they have two thirds uh i honestly wanted more i mean i want their first like <laughs> but i knew that's not realistic um i thought their second the raider second round pick would be reasonable which would be an early second we got their third so like just the second round pick not not with the fifth either. yeah right. which i thought that would be pretty reasonable considering the raiders have three firsts but uh Props to the Raiders for pulling this off, and God bless him because, <laughs> like, it's I don't know. Week three, I'm gonna give him until until he starts freaking out <laughs> and like gets angry that Derek Carr is like thrown in the ground. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, we all have our opinion. Like Derek Carr is just not is not Big Ben. He's not Ben. Yeah, he's not. Um, isn't did you say Ben's looking at a contract extension? He's yeah, saying? there's a report that we're going to sign Ben to a quote mega extension in the upcoming weeks. Um, I don't get mega. Like, I don't know. That, that, that's is, interesting. is that like a technical is well, actual term or there's I mean, like, like, I mean like you assume that means that it's going to be like a like big payday. I, yeah. I don't know. But like he's like near the end of his career. Yeah. He's 37. I honestly think like, I, I wouldn't be mad if you're tired. He's taken such a beating over his career. Probably the most, I mean, not even the, I'd say probably the mo- one of the most injured quarterbacks like of our of this era, but he hasn't sat out like he play he's played through a, a lot of injuries over his career and I give him props. But well, kids like he's like 
style, like play style, kind of allows him to do that. And right. He never moves. Right. He's, he's not just, a mobile quarterback. Yeah, he just like shakes off defenders <laughs> yeah, and so improvises, and I love it. Um, this isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying that in a bad way. Yeah. So I guess that's all we're gonna say on AB. I'm kind of sick of talking about <laughs> every 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 episode on this is just about Brown. I'm sure we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we will. We'll do something stupid. Uh, yeah, I guess that wraps up NFL, uh, off-season transactions. Thanks for the input. <laughs> I'm kidding. You did well. Yeah, um, yeah for me. So, here's Joey's time to shine. We're oh. going to talk about our, we were kind of thinking, uh, it's a weird time to talk about, not a weird time to talk about NBA, but just, like, not the playoffs yet, a little after the All-Star break. Um, we're going to have our thoughts on the NBA off-season. Just a few uh, free agents that I listed and like, where we think they're going to end up. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, we'll just start. We'll start with the whole Warrior situation. So uh, what do you think, uh, KD? KD? Yeah. Um, most likely is going to be New York. Cause obviously, he's not staying in the Nets? state. Yeah, the Knicks. Sorry. Yeah, not wait, what, Brooklyn. I said the Nets. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I, I also have the Knicks, right? What, what it's just, saying? I don't know. He wants his own team, obviously, again. Yeah, I, I feel like... Um, he wants to rewrite his own narrative, how he just, like... Can he, though? He can't, but I feel like... I mean, he's a he's a sensitive guy. He's going to obviously want to... I don't know. He wants to change people's opinion on him. How he he uh, obviously joined a, such a powerhouse and just, like, very easily won his three, I'm assuming, the win this year. Wait, three? Is that my... Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah, okay, so, yeah. He's two right now, yeah. So yeah, okay, so be, yeah. he'll get his three rings, and then he probably wants to win it on his own. And going to the East makes sense. Um, just dilute the town a little bit, make it a little easier path to the finals for him. So the Knicks kind of makes sense, because he, he'd really be building this, like, on his own. I mean, if they have the one, like, <laughs> him and Zion, that'd be a cool duo. I mean, yeah, um, I don't know about that. So, what do you mean? No, about what? I don't know. I mean, like, I just... I can't imagine KD, like, doing anything after, like, he leaves the goal. Like, I mean, he's going to do something, but, I, like, I feel like if he goes to the Knicks and it's just him and Zion and, like, you know, like, Dennis oh, right. Smith, Dennis Smith Jr., DeAndre Jordan, all those, like, if all those guys are still there, it's going to probably just Dennis be... Smith Jr. is on, uh, the Heat. Dennis Smith Jr.? No, he's not. He's on Knicks. Challenge, well, who j- challenge flag. Who just did that dunk today? That was, uh, that was, that was not Dennis Smith Jr. No, they, the Dallas traded him the Knicks for, uh, Porzingis. He was part oh, of the Oh, right, right, right. Who am I thinking of? Who did that dunk? That we uh, it was a junior, but it wasn't. Okay. Smith junior. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. But anyway, like I, I feel like it'd be a successful season next year, like if Kevin Durant goes to New York and they go to like the Eastern Conference Finals. Right. Like I really expect a lot from him by himself. Yeah. Like it's gonna be his show because like I noticed that when Golden State plays and like one, like my, my like one of their most successful lineups is just Kevin Durant in the bench because like they well, they, yeah. they like that like they run that a lot to rest their starters and they leave, they leave KD in and it's a really efficient lineup so he, he should get out of there like, if he yeah. stays in Golden State he's an idiot. Yeah, I I definitely agree with you. And if he does go to the Knicks, um, and tries to rebuild his legacy of like how he can carry a team on his own, uh, I mean that'd be a cool team to see. You got like him, Kevin Knox, and Zion. I mean, assuming they get the first overall pick and get Zion, that'd be cool to see. Uh, I honestly I agree with you. I don't think that they could go all the way. I mean, who knows what Zion's gonna be like in the NBA? Which he's looking promising, but um, stupid yeah. question of the night. Is there ever a chance that KD ends up back in OKC for redemption? Like that, no. I think that's the only no. way. And I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. I agree, but like that could be the only way he ever gets redemption. Say Paul George leaves after his contract's up, and he ends up in LA. They just signed Paul George for five. Yeah, and I'm, I'm telling you, like down, like we're very far down the line. I definitely don't see that happening. Yeah, neither do I. But like, I think that would be the only way he could really like redeem himself if he like brings a championship to OKC. That'd be. It'd be crazy. It'd be the craziest storyline. They gotta write a thirty for thirty or yeah, some exactly. kind of movie yeah, yeah, on that. That'd, stupid be, thing, that'd be yeah. wild. That would be wild. Well. Yeah, so uh, we'll move on to Clay. Where do you think he goes? I think LA is going to push really, really hard for him. Like, that's probably their number one free agent that they're going for Definitely. this offseason. And they're not going to get him. I think he stays in Golden State. I also think he's going to stay in Golden State. It's just it'd, be cool, it'd be cool to see him on his own uh, without his his buddy Steph. But, uh, yeah, he's just, it's just so deadly how him and Curry are such great shooters. And I honestly think of all these free agents, like, for a lot of teams, Clay would be. Uh, if you have a superstar and you want to sign an additional, Clay would be the perfect player to go for because 
He doesn't demand the ball like a lot of these superstars do. He's just a like, catch and shoot, and he's and he's and he's deadly. Like it's just it's so effective, and it's it's crazy. It's perfect for LA. Yeah. So like, they're gonna it, be he could fit in anywhere. I mean, I it'd be interesting to see what he can do as being like the go-to guy and like the superstar on his team. But he's just like a catch and shoot player, and he does what he he's a. You know, I'm not gonna call him a one-trick pony, but like Kinda. he 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 does what he's good at, very good. So. Very well, and he like he can finish inside really well too. Yeah, stuff. he does some other stuff. But, but like you said, like he's not dribbling inside; he's catching right. the ball while driving. Right. Like, he on his sixty point in three quarters, he did it on what like thirteen dribbles or something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. Know, oh yeah, no. Like, all, all, he's like three of those games where he like only has. Like, it's like, nuts, yeah. And like it's perfect, like you said, for like with another star like Steph or something like right. that. But, like, even if he goes off by himself, he would still need a playmaker, like, I don't know, like, Rondo or something, or, like, Ricky Rubio, like, to yeah. get him the ball, because right. he just can't do it himself. Yeah. Which is weird, but, you know, I like him. Yeah, I mean, I I would love for the Sixers to get him. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I, me too, but, like, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, I, I don't think that's happening either, but... I can never imagine him in Philly. We'll get in the Sixers later. Um, yeah. Cousins. Cousins, I actually have no idea. Like, I really, like, I I have no clue. I think he goes yeah. back to another, like, bad team. Like, I like similar to Sacramento. Well, yeah, well you know, bad Sacramento. I kind of had the same thinking. I I kind of struggle. I I have a th- feeling I have no inside information at all. But it, maybe he'll go to uh, the L A Clippers. Clippers. Because they're looking. They're they're always in the. They're they've been in the mix to sign a free agent and like go. Obviously, in L A is a hot temperature hot but like a nice good one like a <laughs> hot destination for these free agents. It's just easy to attract these stars. Who and says that though? I'm, I, let's just take a step back. I, I hate when people say that LA is a hot destination for like people. Like that's all ESPN says. Like, I know. Well, it's, it's just it's so annoying. They feel like why do they feel that? Why why is why is know. LA so attractive? I, I mean, just because it's it's LA. I, the oh, two oh. biggest cities are New York and LA. I guess I don't. I, I honestly I need to have like a inside perspective on this, but yeah. I I don't. I want. I'm curious. Like, is it easier? Like, how much easier? I'm sure it is easier to attract free agents if you're in a place like L.A. I mean, these guys are young, got money, and they want, a, they want like, a... Lavish lifestyle. Right. And the nightlife in L.A., I'm sure. I, I, And I get that for, like, guys like, um, like guys like Kevin Durant, even. Like, that makes sense. But, like, when like yeah. people say Kawhi Leonard's going to L.A. because he wants the fame, do you think Kawhi Leonard wants fame? I don't yeah. I think Kawhi Leonard wants to go to bed every night at 8 o'clock and, like, make sure <laughs> right. he's, like, ready to go. Like, he, like, doesn't care about that stuff. So, it, yeah. I don't know. It depends on the person. Like, you're right. And I feel like Boogie Cousins is could be flashy, like, yeah, an L.A. type. Right. So, I don't know. I think he goes wherever the biggest payday is, honestly. Yeah, I also see that, too. Because he, what, he's in the veteran minimum, right, at, in Golden State. Oh, he's dirt cheap. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's just here to get his ring. He's ready to get his payday then after yeah, this. For sure. Uh, I guess we'll, you kind of mentioned it. We'll go Kawhi next. Where do you think he'll go? I mean, I... I can see him staying in Toronto. It really depends yeah. how the Eastern Conference like shakes out in the playoffs. I also wrote down. I think Toronto. Uh, I mean, from what I've seen, a lot of like people who are re- reporting on uh, just like have inside info do not think he's gonna resign Toronto. But I think it makes sense for him. Like, and I don't. I, I don't. They need to win the East to, for him to stay. Yeah, I like mean, bare minimum. Right. That might not even be enough. And I think, like, I feel like he should realize that, like, he the his style of play, I really don't feel like it's going to fit with LeBron well, like. Oh, he, wait, wait, go, like, the idea of him going to Lakers? Right, because, like, they're both, like, so ball dominant. Yeah. That, like, I, I don't know. And, like, he's not going to, like, obviously he's, like, a quiet guy. He's not going to take charge and, like, demand the ball from LeBron. So, like, I feel like he should realize that he sh- he – like should have his own team like that and i mean yeah i I feel like toronto is like a good fit for him to be honest but it's perfect it's like it's toronto it's in canada like right. it doesn't get more it's like pretty reserved solemn than that like it's like yeah. really perfect for him I, but I, like i said I, I don't think he stays who knows what's going on inside his head though he like is, he, he never talks he might and, be crazy like, too honestly he could he scares me a little yeah. bit yeah but uh, also, like, yeah, like LA just, I, there's no way it goes to the Lakers, in my opinion. Like, like the attention, like, no matter, no matter how much I hate it, the attention is on LA. Like, right. like all, even like at the bench players, like everybody's always staring at him. Like Rondo, like, who cares about Rondo? But like, right. they're, they're talking about him sitting far away from the bench for like two days straight. Yeah, like, like, like Kawhi yeah. would not be able to like survive that. Right, exactly. So like, I feel like he really wouldn't fit in the, with the Lakers. But no, yeah, I agree. Yeah, who knows? Uh, so far, we're agreeing. Wow. What is that? So far, we're agreeing. I don't, I don't like that. Like we're agreeing where everybody's going. Like instead. Oh. Not a fan. 
Yeah, I think we have. Uh, okay, how about Kyrie? You go first on Kyrie, because it's complicated. I, first of all, I'll say this. He's not staying in Boston. I kind of want him to stay in Boston. I want him to. I mean, like, I don't, as a Sixers fan, I don't want him to, but I think he fits in Boston. You see, like, I'm kind of in a weird spot. Not, I, I don't know if that's the right term, but, like, I like the Sixers. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'd say I'm a Sixers fan, for sure. Like, I, I root, okay, I root for the th- Russ and the Thunder. This makes no sense. Like, it's just so messed up. Yeah, I know. Like, I root for Russ and the Thunder That's over awesome. anyone because he's my favorite player. I love Paul George. love Steven Adams. Only pit player in the NBA. Um, he's a pit guy? I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, I love the Thunder. But, like, when they leave, I'm not going to – I'll probably just, like, be a Sixers, like, a all Sixers fan. But, like, whatever. Um, but, like, I don't hate the Celtics. It's just weird. I love Kyrie. I really like Tatum. Hey, we're like, I, lo- I don't know. Like, I don't have a hatred for the Celtics, which, like, I, as a Sixers fan, you should. But I feel like he should stay in, in Boston because, like, these players, like, I don't, I guess the West, as we were talking about before, is, like, in a more attractive place to play in and live in. But, like, they got to realize that, like, the East is, like, up for grabs, not up for grabs, but it's just, like, easier to, like, like path to the championship. So, like, I feel like he should stay in Boston. Because he could have his own team, he's good enough. Um, but he? I feel like that's that's say who I I think he's gonna go to the Lakers. Lakers. Yeah, with this. Unite. Wow. I, yeah, I think like because he's kind of. Like, I would like that. I'm not gonna lie. That'd I mean, I cool. I like Kyrie a lot, but he's kind of like into that. I'm not saying he's dramatic, but like. No, he's dramatic. Yeah, yes, you can say that. He, yeah, I don't know, but like I think he kind of likes like that whole like the storyline of like him and LeBron like early in his career and like winning it all and then like their differences, whatever, so he demands a tree, has his own team, and, like, they reunite, like, the, the, you know, like, they've been, you've seen the pictures, like, they've been, like, talking, like, during the games. That's why I'm starting to come around and, on him, honestly. And Kyrie, like, there's always, like, he's, like, I feel, I feel for Le- LeBron right now, and, like, I don't know, he keeps talking about him. I feel like I could definitely see him reuniting with LeBron in L.A. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I'm starting to come around on him. Like, I like, really, come, what do you I, mean, come I around? did not like him when he, oh, okay. in, his, in his video, like, well, I didn't really care when he was in Cleveland alone because he didn't do anything. Just like when he demanded the trade to Boston. Yeah, like, that kind he of thing. was really immature. It was like, it was just stupid, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. It, it really annoyed me, like, how he went about doing that. But, like, recently, like you said, like, him, like, mending, like, stuff with LeBron and, like, yeah. kind of like how he's, like, trying to take responsibility for the team. Right. He's not doing it very well, but he's trying to. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to come around, but I do think Boston is the perfect place for him. Yeah. Because, like, like, there's so much talent in Boston. Like, right. it's ridiculous. And Brad Stevens. And I hate Danny Ainge, but, man, like, he's really good at, like, oh, at yeah. getting talent. Yeah. But, like, so, like, I don't know. It's, it's the place to be, I feel like. If he leaves, like who, like just just Tatum become the number one option in Boston? Yeah, and I love Tatum. I think he's like right, he's waiting in the wings, so he could be a he has a good bright future. That's the worst part. I got a Sixers fan in me. Like even right. if Kyrie leaves, yeah, the next next guy up. Like and then if Tatum somehow gets traded or something for AD, and then like get, like Jalen Brown's still there. Right, Jalen. Like these guys, like they're all young. Like Jalen Brown, Rozier, like he's like gonna step up and. Even like Hayward, Hayward is the man of oh his team God, yeah, in Utah, and like he's starting to come around with too. Kyrie. Yeah, he's he's starting to progress. I mean, he's. People like kind of rip on him because he's having a, he's not having a great year, but like he came off like one of the worst injuries in sports. Like it was the beginning of it's, last that's year. Tough, though. That's tough. That's tough to yeah. I mean, it's a, you need a whole year and true, like to true. get back into it. I'm sure it mentally it, it messed with him and like he's finally getting back in the groove. And I'm I'm glad because I like him. I think he's good. Yeah, me too. So I mean, and you saw. I mean, we're seeing it now with Paul George suffered that terrible injury and like I mean it took him obviously the year and like. He didn't getting, struggle, but like, right? But now he's like even better than he was before, which I'm glad. Um, so I feel like Hayward could have a similar path. So if Kyrie leaves, like Hayward, that can happen to Hayward. They got Tatum, all those guys you mentioned. Hay- how, what's Hayward's contract? Do you know? I don't know. I look it up. You, you can go to the next guy. I'm just gonna look that up. Uh, okay. All right. Wait. Did you did you give a destination spot for Kyrie or no? I mean, at least that I, I would love him to go to LA. I, I, and, like, that's weird because I don't want LA to succeed in any way possible. <laughs> I, if I had to choose between Boston, like, tanking out, I, I probably would choose LA over Boston just because, I don't know, I don't know. I just really yeah. don't like LA. But um, him going there would be awesome. Like, him and LeBron are reuniting. That'd be kind of cool to see him, be honest. It'd be kind of cool, but, like, uh, I don't know. They just kind of feed, they would definitely feed into the I mean, I love LeBron. I love Kyrie. But, like, they definitely, like, feed into the L.A. drama of yeah. LeBron and Kyrie. But... No, yeah, you're totally right. And then uh, fi- maybe I, finally I, LeBron can actually pass the torch down to Kyrie because that was supposed to happen in true. Cleveland, I feel like. Yeah. But, like, Kyrie ruined Ooh. that. 
Oh, that was a good move. Sorry, we got we got oh, yeah, the we, we got the pens on. Very yeah. casual episode of the Hogland Podcast. <laughs> we got the Penguin Boston game on. Up three one on the Bruins. This would be a good win. I did look uh, I think we're like only yeah. like eight points. The Flyers are only eight points out of the playoffs or something like that. So it's not that bad. Not great though. I don't know. Uh, that that's I think that's that sounds right. It's not good though. We're not gonna make the playoffs. I don't see them make the playoffs. Yeah, um. No. Anyway. Sorry, uh, sorry. We'll move on to uh oh Sixers. <laughs> uh, what Jimmy Baller? Yeah, actually, let's end on the Sixers. We'll go Kemba real quick. Kemba. Um, yeah, I feel like with all these big names, people aren't totally talking about Kemba in this. Well, because in the beginning of the year, he did say that he's staying in Charlotte no matter what, which I couldn't believe. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen though. No. Anymore? You, th- you, think, you think that's not happening anymore? I kind of could see him maybe leaving, but he seems like the guy that's kind of happy in his own little corner, like doing yeah, his own true. thing, getting his numbers, and yeah. like you know, getting his payday. Yeah. So like, I, I could good. I could easily see him staying, you know, in Charlotte and losing forever. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a shame to see. Uh, so talented, but two interesting teams I have him potentially going to. Um, I wrote the Bucks. That'd be interesting. He want to as a, what I said before about um, players deciding between East and West and like choosing the East because it's kind of like up for grabs. Um, Is it up for grabs anymore though? There's I know four. it's starting to it's starting to get There's more. Four I mean, really good teams in the East right now. Yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah, and like if he goes to the Bucks, like him and Giannis would be a great duo. Giannis. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, so no, I right, thought no, that'd, that'd, that'd be, be really kind of cool. Like help out Giannis, and I'm gonna emphasize the Giannis. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so I either have that or <laughs> weird one, uh, New Orleans, or just wherever Davis is. Just to see Davis oh, and uh, Kemba. Be cool. I'm just trying, like comparing them, like not comparing them, pairing them up with like a big man. I was gonna say, I, I, I yeah. noticed you're trying to do that. Right. So I, I thought I'd, that'd be cool to see two stars like a Kemba and AD or Kemba and Giannis to play together. So what's the most talented person Kemba Walker has played with? It's not good. Is it Malik Monk? Like it, it, it could like, be I, it, honestly. It, like, it really could be Malik Monk, which is sad. I'm trying to think. Yeah, like, like it's Charlotte is just a Kaminsky. Terrible. Dwight Howard was there. Oh yeah, Dwight Howard was so there. Bad for him. Yeah, did he yeah. get a good year in Charlotte? Didn't he? Or no? Yeah, he was fine. Oh, yeah, 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 that was his one recent. I don't interview. know. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, yeah. it's just I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> What's uh, next? Oh yeah, Sixers. All right. So the Butler Harris situation. We'll start with Butler. Where do you think he's going? Once again, like it really depends on how the East shakes up. If we lose in the second round or, b- or before, God forbid, oh my God, if we lose in the first <laughs> round, he's gone. Yeah. And that, that's not necessarily a bad thing for the Sixers. Mm-hmm. But I think no matter what, we're keeping, to, we're extending Tobias Harris. Mm-hmm. And like, he's going to, I think he's going to be a Sixer for a while, like hopefully. Yeah. But um, like the Jimmy Butler experiment, is, it's not going great. Yeah. Like he had like those first like couple games where he like made some really clutch shots and like won, right. like, won those games for us. But like, like he's not like his points like per game are going down really far. He's in the nineteen point something I think, right? Like which is like below his average, like career yeah. average, like, yeah. way below. So like uh, it it really depends. I think honestly he's another one of those guys that we would have to at least get to the Eastern Conference Finals for him to consider staying. I he's agree. a player option, right? I believe. Or is he uh, I think that's right. I think he's a player option. So it's up to him, and like yeah, I mean, and I don't know. He just he hasn't said much. I remember in the beginning, it was like, oh, like this is looking great. Like, he seemed happy, but right. like, I haven't seen him seem happy in well, quite a bit now. Yeah, I mean, the Sixers gave up. Uh, Covington and Sarge were pretty young, so. I'm not that upset about that. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it it's, that's not the worst. But, like, I guess at the time, the Sixers th- were confident they could re-sign him. And then the whole Tobias Harris thing went down. Um, and they're confident they can re-sign him. So, I agree with you. I don't think. Sixers, I I love Butler, um, but from a Sixers fan perspective, I I really don't think, in my opinion, he doesn't fit in well. Like I de- like I it's not ideal. Like this, like star, like all this like star power can get you so far, but like it really, I don't think it's ideal in the Sixers system because he's so ball dominant, and so I mean he's great defensively and that uh, helps tremendously. But and he has been like for the Sixers, like, right? Yeah. But he's so ball dominant and so is Simmons, and that offense runs through Simmons. Like it, he he's the he's the guy that is going to be running this offense for years to come, rightfully so. And the offense also runs through him, B like clogging the middle. So it's just like, so I consider him B like a ball dominant player, and so is Ben Simmons, so is Butler. And Tobias Harris isn't. I love that. Right. Yeah. He's like perfect. you need that guy, and he, he like he has a great role, and I think that I think he realizes that. And I also think the Sixers realize that, and I see him signing 
uh, this off season. I have him going to Philly. Uh, but I I honestly think Butler's going to walk, and I wouldn't be that mad about it. Neither would I. Uh, even though I, I love Butler. He's, like, one of my favorite players in the NBA. Uh, but I, I, <laughs> I mean, I have him going to L.A. Imagine him, LeBron, and Kyrie, Kyrie on the Lakers. I don't even – I have no idea if they can afford this. They, they, they probably they can can't. Um, Unless Kyrie doesn't take a super max deal or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that would be – Jimmy's going to only get paid. I mean, Jimmy – Butler, Kyrie, and LeBron in LA. I mean, they're all have had like their drama side stuff with their respective teams throughout their careers. And being in LA, I mean, that's just. <laughs> I honestly think that would be a little bit of a mess. And I think Butler would freak out at one point, and like yeah, people would start and they're scared. all as I'm saying, like all. But that's so much talent at that point. That right, I feel that's like true. Fine. But they're all ball dominant players. What I'm saying, like Kyrie. True. I mean, Kyrie would realize his role, I guess. But like Butler and uh, LeBron, I don't know. But it kind of yeah. is a question: Is Jimmy Butler kind of like his own worst enemy? Because like, a little, uh, yeah. Don't get me good, wrong; like yeah. he's like, like you said, he demands the ball, and he kind he does well like on offense when he does like get the ball, like in, in like Minnesota and stuff. Yeah. But like, he just doesn't play well with other people. It seems like because like every person yeah. you talk about, like oh, like no, but that person demands the ball too much because like, he needs it. Right. But like, is he like kind of like a Kemba Walker in a way that he should just go to a crappy team and like spend the rest of his days there? True. Because like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, his that's defense, a good point, like, yeah. His defense really helps. Oh, he's such a good defender. Like, 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 and like that's top three dif- two way player in the league. In and like, the opinion. Sixers were already one of the best defensive teams in the NBA, when, and then we got him. Right. Yeah. We, Simmons. We, we lost Covington, who's yeah. first team all defense. Let's go. Right. Really yeah. Good. But um, yeah, it's just it's complicated. The more we talk about the Sixers, the more I realize Clay Thompson would be perfect. Yeah, that's what I was texting one of my Tobias roommates. Harris, Clay Thompson. Right. Oh my like, God, have, like amazing. that lineup next year. All right. What if it's Simmons running point, Redick as a shooting guard. Clay so, small forward, Tobias power forward and beat center, like it, like just Simmons like controlling the offense. Have Redick and Clay camp out in the wings, but, like outside, like on the perimeter. Tobias runs baseline, and beat clogging the middle. Like that just like defense would be so confused how to stop that. Like if you have one shooter like Clay, that's so hard to stop. And two with Redick, it's just like it's. I mean, to a lesser extent, it's like. Clay and Steph, it would be Clay and Redick. Like that's that's a championship team. Like I, they, like I would definitely pick them to win it all. Ben demands the ball and yeah. he demands the ball. Tobias right. kind of does, not really, not nearly as much. Yeah, as like he knows his role though. And yeah, he's, Clay doesn't yeah. demand the ball at all. And like, he he's I mean, he had a good game today. Like he can hit shots. Like yeah, he's he's awesome inside. Yeah. Like I, I, people always forget about take the that. pressure off Simmons for trying to uh, get a jump shot. Yeah, if we can take Jimmy, if Robert's I jump shot. if I had a dime every time I heard, dude, Simmons is gonna be so good once he gets a jump shot. Like I'd be rich. Like I hate, <laughs> I hate when Kobe said it. As, I hate as, as, as if right, it's a hot take. Right, exactly. Like, I hate, hate when everyone says it. like as soon as he gets a jump shot. Like, dude, he's 22 years old, been playing basketball his whole life. If he was just gonna get a jump shot, he would have done it. But I mean, I'm not gonna doubt him. I love Simmons, and I hope he does. But like. My only hope, I don't what know. gives me hope is Blake Griffin. Like, because Blake Griffin is what all, he's doing really well this year, and he did not have, like, a solid jump shot or a oh, three-point right, shot right. at all yeah, true. in the beginning of his career. Yeah. How old is he? And he's finally getting one. Blake Griffin? Yeah, he's finally starting to get yeah, a ball. How old is he? I don't, like... He well, must be, like... Here's the thing. Like, I feel like Blake oh, Griffin... Oh, I think he was a rookie in 08. Was he really? I want to... Oh, he's probably around 30. Yeah, you're... Uh, 29, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, like, I feel really like forever. if Blake Griffin wasn't hurt, like, you know, from the majority of his career, I feel like he would have developed this stuff earlier. That's that, true. So that gives me hope that Ben can do it, hopefully by age, like, 25, that he yeah. can finally reach his, like, peak potential. Like, he can get that, like, jump shot and stuff. But Yeah, but, but like, the fact that he's only attempted two threes. They were good-looking threes. They almost won that. That first one almost went in. It looked great. Almost went in. Almost went in. I was, man, what, what a day that was. What a day. Yeah. I don't know. I, I hope it's just get quiet. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's all I have about free agency. I mean, person I guess is a restricted free agent, but he's obviously going to stay. Yeah, he's going to resign. Yeah. That's They wouldn't have done that big deal if he wasn't going to resign. That's an interesting team, though. And if do you think Dirk stays another year? Um, I hope for his sake, I hope he doesn't, because everybody's acting like he, like, I, I know, I remember, it's so awkward. I remember everybody, like, like, the first time that he got, like, a, a round of, like, a, like a standing ovation, like, in, a, in an away arena, I was like, he never announced he's retired. Right, and he still hasn't. And he still hasn't, and, like, he's saying, like, I might come back. How right. awkward would that be? I know, it's kind of awkward. Is he going to be in the All-Star like, game? two farewell tours. Is he going to be in the All-Star game again next I, year? I guess. <laughs> no way, like, no way, like. I hope he doesn't stay for his sake. Like, that, that, not, that's not going to hurt his, like, you know, reputation right. or anything. It's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And like, that, like two more I'm looking at right now for free agents. Chris Middleton has a player option, but he's staying in Milwaukee. I'd see him staying. I can't imagine he's got him going anywhere there, else. Yeah. And Al Horford also has a player option. I'd see him I'd, I'd be staying. shocked if he yeah, yeah. left Boston. 
Yeah, I mean, it's prep for them. Boston isn't really a place you want. And they get, they got a good thing going on. They there like them like, there too. Yeah, everybody loves everybody likes Al Horford there. He's, he's so efficient. Right. That's about it. Uh, yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up our NBA talk. Well, Any more sense. to add or? Not really. I mean, like the comp, like the way, like all the conferences are kind of like shaking out like you thought they would at this point. Right. Like uh, Pacers are starting to fall. Right. Finally. I was, kinda, I was starting to get worried there for a little bit because Miles Turner was, like, stepping up. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, yeah, no. Everything's shaking up like we thought it would. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll get into uh, this segment called How oh, Much God. Does Joey yeah, Know? Close the computer, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, want you cheating. You know, I'm not cheating. Uh, I'm going to do better than I think you think. How, wait, wait, wait. Real quick. Guess what, how many am I going to get right? Guess. Three. Three. Three? Yeah. Dude. And there's some pretty easy questions on here. That's, that's too insulting. Th- Throughout our conversations today, two questions kind of leaked, and <laughs> yeah. um, the one question was, who beat who in the World Series last year? That was bad. Would have gotten that wrong. I didn't know wrong. the answer I, to uh, that. No, I would have guessed Boston won, but I, for, I completely forgot who they played. Yeah. Completely forgot who they played. And then my other one, which he would have gotten. Yes, eventually. Yeah. Because, no, the, the way you worded it. Yeah, the way I worded it. Just Who just signed with the San Diego Padres? Manny Machado. Okay, good. Okay, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you were going to... Uh, yeah, just because... Yeah. Uh, so I added two more baseball ones. Honestly, the baseball one's probably harder than that, so you did yourself a disservice by uh, getting those questions out of me. It's not about the Phillies. I'm not going to know. <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Like, Mitchell would... I asked Mitchell these questions. He went 10 for 10. Obviously. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll start. This is an easy one. You're going to get this one. I hope I get this one. Who currently leads the NBA in points per game? James Harden. Okay. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Come on. Mark now. him down as a check mark for that. Yay. Uh, oh, my this... God. Sorry. I'm being that for the Penguins game, and he completely whiffed it. Did he score? Wait. Oh, my God. They scored. It's a 3-2. Uh... No, they actually, like, it's 3-2. Oh, really? In a wide open net, too. How much time? There's only, like, a minute. The Penguin guy, I don't know who missed it, but they missed the empty net. Only, like, a minute left. Yeah. All right. Sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, next question. I don't think you're getting this one right. I I need both. The two part question. I need both for you to get it right. Uh, who won offensive player of the year and defensive player of the year in the NFL? Okay, this offensive past player of the year was Patrick Mahomes. Correct. Defensive player of the year was it the Rams guy? Oh, no, or was it Khalil? No, it wasn't Khalil Mack. Oh, what's the Rams guy's name? Why can't I think of it right now? This is. Oh my God! It was it wasn't even him, was it? I'm not gonna comment. <sighs> Why I mean, can't I think? Of I need your def- final answer. Defensive lineman's in name. Ten seconds. I cannot think of the defensive lineman's name on the Rams. Oh my God! Ten, nine, eight, seven, uh, six. I'm gonna let it run out. Five, four, three, two. Oh, nice Penguins score. One and wrong. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. I was gonna say Aaron. No, you weren't. I, I, no, I said Aaron Gordon in my head five times. Aaron Gordon. Yeah, I, I know that's... Yeah, the magic uh, sucks. Yeah. Hail to Pitt. He went to Pitt. <sighs> he did it to Pitt, too? Yeah. Oh, my God. Pitt sucks. <laughs> yeah, two-time defensive player of the year. Go ahead. Come on. Um, all right, that's wrong. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, give me half. I confidently got Patrick Mahomes. Give you half. Confidently. One half. Okay. Uh, number three, you're going to get this one because of a conversation we had today. You proved to me that you know this. That you know this. Um, oh, Lord. Who was first all-time in NBA scoring? Oh, Kareem. Correct. Abdul. Yeah, Jamal. in light of LeBron passing MJ. I feel like if that didn't happen, you wouldn't have got that one. No, nah, Kareem, nah, Kareem, Karl Malone, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Come on now. Yeah, but like if... No, I would have I would have known that cause from the last time LeBron passed sure, someone else. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, did I say three or four you're going to get right? Uh, you said three. Okay, you're already at two and a half. So next one you get right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of these. I know. Uh, I am. NHL ones. No, I'm not gonna get it all. Uh, you are not gonna get another one right. You <laughs> might get what you might guess one. Right, or I don't know. Oh, okay. Man. Uh, who was four? Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna get this one. <laughs> who was first in the NHL? First in the like like team record. Yeah, and bonus. If you can name me their points leader. Oh, my God. I mean, this guy, he's like... It could go... Is it... It's not the Capitals. I know they won the Stanley Cup last year. This team is in first by a good amount. They're having a great year. Not, and this the their points leader leads the NHL in points by a good amount, also having a fantastic year. Really? I haven't heard anything from... Like, I just don't follow the NHL. Um, if I can guess it. Let's see. 
who is having a good year? I'm gonna go. It's not. It's just not the Capitals. It'd, it'd be shocking if it was the Capitals. Is it the Capitals? No. No. Okay, I didn't think so. Is That's it? your guess. Uh, yeah. Who is it? The Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, never got it. And the points leader is Nikita Kucherov. That's I believe I he's at 108 points. That sounds impressive. It is impressive. <laughs> I mean, if you have like a hundred point season, that's good. I season, think, season not even over. Dude, obviously, I thought Drew had that last season. But. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the one. Guy I don't know, I know much about hockey. That's the one guy I know. <laughs> Drew. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, that's wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you might get this one right. Who led the NFL in receiving touchdowns? Touchdowns. Uh, receiving touchdowns in the regular season last year. <sighs> not Julio. He had a terrible. Yeah. Start. Um, he had like a million yards, but just didn't yeah, 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 yeah. in the first like ten weeks or something like that. I don't remember. Not a B. Um, receiving touchdowns. Did DeAndre Hopkins? What? Do you, that's not a, what oh, you sorry. said. De- does DeAndre Hopkins? Does he what? No. What was it? DeAndre Is that your Hopkins? guess? DeAndre Hopkins? No, it's not that. Oh, it could be a B. Let me go. Wait, wait. Let me, oh, wait, wait, wait. Was it Tampa Bay? Mike Evans? No. Just give me an answer. <laughs> Just not like name these guys. Like, wait. Did no. I name them in those guys? Uh, who'd, you, who'd you say? Mike Evans, Antonio Brown, DeAndre Hopkins. Not Odell. I got hurt too much. Um, no, I'm, I'm going to think about this one. Uh, let me just go through my head. Just give me an answer. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I got I to think about this. This is okay. important to me. All right, take your time. I need to get this one. Yeah, like this. You're not going to get any others. Prob- eh. <laughs> you should get one, but you won't. <laughs> You, you should get a few. Uh, no, okay. no, I can get this one because, like, I'm. F- <sighs> Who had a lot of? Okay, I'm gonna go with. Oh, I'll play it safe. Antonio Brown. It's not Antonio Brown. Correct. Oh no way! It's yep. Antonio Brown. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, that was. I thought because like we talked about him, and he's like one of the few receivers you know <laughs> that. Come on, I need just guess. I can name a lot of receivers. I don't think so. Okay, let's not get this. <laughs> let's yeah, we'll, we'll save that for another another one. episode. Um. <laughs> All right, name three of the starting five on Duke. Oh, come on, really? Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, Zion Williamson. There you go. Uh, Marquise, uh, what's his last name? Okay, you don't. Those uh, those Tyus names. Jones, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know his first name. Trey Jones. Trey Jones. Uh, all right, good. You were at four and a four and a half or four and a half? One, two, three, four and a half. Okay. I need five for sure. Um, <laughs> you should get one more, but I don't think you will. I don't know what that means. Okay, baseball one. Uh, Peter Bryce Harper Simon. No. <laughs> Give me the AL MVP or the NL MVP last year. AL MVP. NL MVP. Okay. Um, oh, I know the NL MVP. Yeah, this might be gettable. I don't know. Probably not. No, it isn't. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. It could be... Okay, well, it's not Machado in the AL. Wait, is it the Dodgers in the AL? No, they're Dodgers in the NL. No, no, never mind. Um, no, I'm not gonna waste your time. I don't know. <laughs> uh, AL MVP was Mookie Betts yeah. of the Red Sox. Didn't, I mean, I know he was in the Red Sox, but I didn't know that. And Kristen Yelich. Yeah, of God, the thank, thank God I didn't waste my time. I did not have gotten that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you would. Okay, uh, Kristen Mookie Betts. <laughs> this what? is just oh, to God. see if you were paying attention earlier. I said it in the free agency. Uh, oh crap! Notables. Uh, what safety did the Rams just sign? You weren't paying attention. I, uh, I, I said it in the. You said it quickly. You were going. Then, I was. Then, I was looking up stuff like while you were doing it. Just no, I actually talked about it in a brief, a little bit. So okay. Well, the Rams just signed. Um, man, that the Giants dropped him. Um, thirty-four year old safety. Thirty-four. Year, oh, I said him. Ravens cut him. I should not be giving you this info, but. Ravens had him for a little bit. Yeah. I, wait, Ravens had. Wait, Ravens got him. Or Rams got him. Ravens cut him. Cut him. Oh, okay. Rams signed him. Ravens cut him. I was timid of the Steelers going after him. I don't know. Age. I don't know. Eric Weddle. Yeah, I just wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> Eric Weddle. Nice. Okay. Um. I'm getting better. I'm doing fantasy again next year. <laughs> he's, oh. he's a safety. It's not even. I know. Fa- I'm just saying. I'm I'm, no, but I'm, I'm going to be paying attention more. Okay. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> question nine. <laughs> okay, you're not going to get this one. What third baseman did the Rockies just resign for big money? Oh, um. Yeah. Like, it was outside of Harper and Machado. It was, it was the biggest, it, it was the biggest yeah, biggest free change signing ever. Um, Pine, yeah, like you said, those two. This year, yeah. 
Um, third baseman. I said that. Yeah. I don't, uh, Segura? No. no. No, I don't know then. What, what is it? Nolan Arenado. No, yeah, when he got it. I, I did hear that news. I just didn't. I, I, I looked at the name one. I don't care. Yeah. Because, yeah, baseball. And then to cap it off, who won the 2018 Masters? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Um, oh, oh. He's American, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Uh, I can see him in my head. I, I watched the Masters, too. Bigger guy. Bigger guy. Of. No, yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's won, like, a lot of stuff. Like, he's been, like, on, not, on, not on fire. But, like, hasn't he won a couple he's of things? He's good. Like, like, he's not, like, a no-name. Yeah. Nah. I, don't, I, I can see in my head. I did watch the Masters last year. Well, Tiger's winning this year, so I'll... I'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd love to see it, but... No, I didn't have it. I don't know. What is okay. It? Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed. Big X for that. So, your total, I think you got five and a half? One, two, four three, four, half. four, four and a half. Better, okay. than, better than you thought. Yeah, I was just considering. Pretty... I don't. I literally haven't watched. This is the first NHL game that I'm watching right now. <laughs> the entire season. I, I hey, I only gave you one NHL question. True. No, I, but and then also I don't follow the MLB at all. I, I do watch the Phillies when, yeah. like, when they're good. My but those I don't care MLB questions were gettable. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, if I pay attention at all to MLB, I should be able to get those. So if I was yeah, I was saying between either three or four, you get went with three because I don't believe in you and almost everything. So four and a half out of ten. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not bad. Not bad. Come on, you're improving. Like like five years ago, I wouldn't have been able to tell you five f- years the four ago, major league sports wouldn't have happened. You yet, know what so. I mean? Like, yeah. hey, come on. Uh, no, I guess good job, that. Joey. Yeah, I guess that wraps up the show. Um, I thought the show went well, Successful. and I, I think Mitchell kind of restrains us. We don't need Mitchell. I know. Like we, he literally could, like, couldn't stop us. Like, he couldn't stop us. A guy, I. I mean, we both run the Instagram account, but Joey just literally controls whatever, what goes up, what goes. He literally so. couldn't stop us. I could yeah. post whatever I want, whatever I well, want. Well, remember <laughs> that. Yeah, just remember that. Yeah, no one wants to see that. Okay, so yeah, that wraps up our show. Uh, how long was this? I have fifty minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, let's good talk for more us. About, let's talk more about production. Yeah. Hmm. hmm? Nothing. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna end this. <laughs> uh, I think he ends this of where can they find you on social media, uh, but we're not gonna do that because no one wants to follow Joey anyway. You I can also, follow I, me. I never put it in the description. I yeah. Only, I only have Mitchell's at name. underscore Jack dot Manis underscore on Instagram. My Twitter's probably the same. Or Jack Manis thirteen. My Twitter's great. I, I tweet. I tweet some good stuff. Do you have a Twitter? I do have a Twitter. You should. You you better follow me. No, man. I don't. I only use it for news. Like I, I don't tweet anything oh. ever. Well, you should follow me and look at my tweets. Nah, I mean, maybe I can learn more about, you know, just retweet everything that's important in sports. I retweet a lot. It's it's mostly sports, and, like, I, I have some funny stuff. Look at it up right now. And, oh, no. well, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll cut it. We'll cut it. But, yeah, look at it up right now. Um, all right. You can follow me, Joey Bolton. No, you can't. All right. Joey thanks Bolton for joining us, guys. Instagram. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. And uh, goodbye.